Hey folks, Tom Franiak here with Midwest Cabinets and Design. Today I'm uh, prepping a kitchen sink for our latest customer here and I wanted to take the time to give you guys a tip. You know, when you're doing a whole remodel like this and you've got the walls tore out, new drywall, that sort of thing, you've changed the plumbing, um, a good thing to do is when you bring the stubs for the hot and cold water out of the wall, don't put a valve on them. And I'm going to show you why. So here, here you see we have the hot and cold and there's valves on it. Now, this happens for a couple of reasons. Either A, we have a homeowner that uh, is not experienced in plumbing, puts the valve on trying to cut a corner. Or B, we have a plumber who puts a valve on because they don't want to spe spend the extra money just to put a, uh, a plug or a cap at the end of the pipe. Now this is this happens to be uh, PEX piping, but there's a little cap and put a little ring around it, holds that little cap in place. And the reason you don't want to do that, I'm going to show you, is because when we go to set our cabinets, we can't drill a small hole because we have to drill a hole big enough to get the valve through. So what do we have here now? We have three big holes, one for the drain and one for each supply line that's going to come through the back of the cabinet that we have to drill. This is a big hole and the escutcheon doesn't want to cover it unless you buy some kind of oversized discussion and that is not the best way to do it. Now I want to help you think this through. So if we go ahead and we do all our rough in on our plumbing and then we just put a cap at the end of our supply lines, crimp it off, the water doesn't leak out, we can get our cabinets installed, they can drill small holes and then once the countertops are in place and the sink's getting ready to be plumbed into the wall, we could then cut those rings, in this case with the PEX, we can cut the rings, pull the stop, uh, the caps, put, put the, the escutcheon or the beauty ring on, then put the valve on, and we have a nice small hole and it can be covered up very nice, and it'll make your inside of your cabinets look way better than if we have to cut a big hole like this. So think about that. Whenever you're doing your plumbing, the rough-in should always be capped. And then when you go do the final connection to the sink, you cut those caps off, you put the actual uh, stops on, and then you're good to go. And you have a beautiful, professional-looking job. Now, whether you're doing this yourself in your home, or whether you're having a plumber come in and take care of those things, uh, this is really the process to do it. And um, if your plumber doesn't want to do it, insist he does it. If you do it, if you're doing it, now you know better. And you're going to have a much better job than you would if we had to cut big holes. So just a little tip from us here at Midwest Cabinets and Design, where quality and service come first. I'm Tom Franiak, and we'll see you in your kitchen. Have a great day. Bye-bye.